show where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's me, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about basics. What are basics? It's just like your essentials, things that you kind of need to have in your wardrobe to build off of. Um, it's kind of the the backbone of your closet, if you will, um, and is arguably one of the most important things. It's something that a lot of people kind of neglect or choose not to like invest in, and I'm here to tell you that that is not necessarily the way to go. Um, not saying that you have to empty out your wallets for white tees and black tees, but um, it is important to kind of like realize that that is going to be kind of the the body of your outfit in a sense. It's gonna be what kind of builds it all together. It's the meat. Well, I don't know if it's the meat. It's, it's more so the bread. The analogy doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is that basics are very important and everyone always needs recommendations. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys today. If you're new here, hi, welcome, subscribe. Hit the push notification bell. Yada, yada, yada. Let's talk about it. So, um, I broke it into like five categories for you guys today. I wanted to kind of keep it simple. These aren't the only basics that exist in the world, um, but I didn't want to have this be like a 45 minute video and I also just didn't want it to be like, I don't know, super involved. I was trying to keep it very focused. So if there's more stuff you want to see, then maybe I'll just do like a part two or something. But for now, I broke it into five categories, which are Tees, brunettes slash hoodies, sweaters, trousers, and denim. We're gonna go ahead and start with t-shirts because I feel like everyone always needs blank tees. I for one am always in the uh, in the market for them. And frankly, I've been kind of getting tired of some of the vintage tees that I have in my wardrobe. I'm not saying I'm gonna get rid of every single vintage tee I own, but sometimes you just need like a blank t-shirt to throw underneath a jacket, a hoodie, whatever the case is. And the fit is ultimately like what's the most important part of it, as well as like the material. Some people like a thinner t-shirt. I personally go for something that's a little bit more thick and boxy typically. Um, but I have some to show you and some to suggest for you. I wanted this video to be kind of a full, I guess, range of prices for some of these items. Kind of show you guys what you can get at each budget. Um, and you can kind of go from there and choose which one is best for you. Obviously, there's more brands in the world than the ones I'm talking about, but this is just the ones that I'm showing today, so sick. First up is Uniqlo. Um, I'm not usually one to tell people to buy fast fashion, but I do think that Uniqlo makes um, some pretty okay t-shirts. I think they're solid for what they are. They get the job done. Um, as long as you're not washing and drying the absolute out of them, um, they'll actually, they'll probably last you a little bit. So I don't think that's a bad option for you. The cuts are pretty decent. The feel of them is, you know, it's, it's solid. It gets the job done if that's what you need it to. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, don't go out and buy 35 of them. Um, I'm not telling you that fast fashion is the, uh, best thing in the world right now. From a more budgeted perspective, I do think that Uniqlo makes some t-shirts that will get the job done. Here's some more that I have to show you guys. So um, the next brand up is a brand that will be featured kind of throughout this video in a sense. Um, it's called Colorful Standard. They are a brand that reached out to me recently. Um, they do a bunch of like sustainable basics, um, anything from like tees, whether it be short sleeve, long sleeve, crew necks, hoodies, sweaters, I think sunglasses. They have like a whole variety of different things. A bunch of different colors. They're all made in Portugal. Um, they're all made of like organic cotton, pre-washed, all that good stuff. I do have a code. I want to say it is Mark B C S 10. Um, so that'll get you 10% off, but this isn't really supposed to be a huge ad. I'm just showing stuff that's, you know, is good for, uh, good for basics. So I just wanted to include that in there, but you're more than welcome to go check them out and uh, use that code if you find something. Hey guys, it's Mark here with Colorful Standard, the only brand that's sustainable and has great basics like this long sleeve here and this beautiful off-white colorway. You don't like off-white? How about Travis Scott? We have this Travis Scott colorway sweatshirt right here. All made in Portugal, all sustainable. 
Gian. And if this offer isn't sweet enough for you, type in Mark BCS10 for 10% off of your order. Order today! But this is the long sleeve t-shirt they sent me. It is in like an ivory color, so it's like not a crisp white, but just a little bit uh, more of like a, I don't know, not really a cream, but just like a off-white. Shout out Virgil. This is a really great uh, fitting long sleeve. I was definitely impressed by the fits of everything. You know, into uh, when I'm looking at basics, I think that the fit and the quality are probably like the two top things for me. But ultimately, you want to have really great fitting basics, and I feel like this does that for me. Uh, pretty good weight to it. It's not super thick, not super thin. Has a nice like touch to it as well. Pretty soft. Um, you can see that it's still new with the tag on it, so I have not washed and dried it and all that yet. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty solid, pretty nice. I'm a fan, and it's always good to find sustainable uh, basics and stuff like that. So pretty great option. Another great option um, is this other brand who coincidentally also sent me a couple pieces. No, I do not have an affiliate code, so I uh, apologize if you prefer this t-shirt better or something, but <laughs> it is this brand called Adapture. I believe they're out of Canada, and they sent me a black one, a white one, and then this kind of green color one. All really great fitting tees. Uh, these are like a cotton poly blend, so they have like a little bit of a stretch to them, not a super... Not a super uh, stretchy feel, but just like a subtle. And it's not, it doesn't really have like a sheen to it either. Shout out Sheen. Not actually. But they uh, they have like a good a good feel, you know? It's a, it's a good boxier fit, a little more oversized. If you are interested in these, I would definitely tell you to um, do not size up because I do think that they run just a tad bit big. I went with a small and they fit me like what a medium would typically fit me like. So that's just a little uh, little tip from your boy. So yeah. Anyways, the other suggestions I have, I do not actually own. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. Uh, but the next one I have is Lady White Co. It's another brand that I recently ran into. Um, and their stuff is just really, really solid looking. It all looks very thick. It all looks really nice. Very 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 thick look to it um and yeah like i said i like my t-shirts um thick nice little boxy fit um and i just think their basics look nice so i only put them for t-shirts but they do have hoodies and they had like some like kind of zip up looking things too definitely worth checking out price points definitely a little bit higher but um you know it comes with the quality i guess so good stuff and then the last one i have is a brand called goldwyn which again, another brand that I had kind of knew about, but started looking into a little bit more. They have a lot of cool stuff, a lot of like gorpy looking stuff, but then the t-shirts are also like super great quality. I did get to feel one in person and I was very, very um, pleased like with the feel of it. So definitely another brand to check out if you're interested. I do think that theirs are also a little bit higher on the price points um, scale, but again, very nice stuff, um, so definitely worth checking out. But let's get on to crewnecks and hoodies. The perfect fall essential. We're gonna start with this epic Travis Scott colorway um, of this LA Apparel hoodie. LA Apparel, um, their hoodies range from like, I don't know, they're around like 70 bucks, I wanna say, somewhere in that range. So, you know, they're not dirt cheap, but I do think that for the quality of them, they do they last a pretty long time. I have owned a few of them now, and I've had them for a year, two years, something like that, and they still feel really well. Anyways, they feel good, but here's this epic Travis Scott colorway, brown hoodie. Very, very thick, very um, nice fit on it, and yeah, kind of everything that I'd want out of a hoodie. Could be layered, could not be. Still looks good regardless. Um, I think I'd go for a medium in these, I want to say. Uh, but I, with that being said, I've owned a few of them, and I feel like every single one I own fits a little bit differently, so they all fit me, but just so you know, I guess. The other option is Rue Porter, which I don't actually own anything from Rue Porter, but I've only heard good things. I think a similar quality to LA Apparel, and a, a, a bit more of an ethical uh, brand as well, so I definitely would look more into Rue Porter. 
if that is what you're looking for. But yes, I will circle back with the colorful standard since I do have a sweatshirt from them as well. Again, very epic Travis Scott colorway. Uh, more of a caramel actually, but still, I really like the color of it. I like the kind of plushness of it. I do believe it's a French Terry one, so it's not like super fluffy on the inside. 100% organic cotton, once again, made in Portugal. Very, very solid. Uh, yeah, that's all there really is to say about it. Let's continue to sweaters. So for sweaters, I did include Uniqlo again. Sweaters start to get a little bit more expensive. The materials tend to be a little bit nicer, whether it be wool, whether it be, wool, whether it be mohair, whether it be cashmere, uh, silk blends, like any anything like that. The material cost is gonna get a little bit more expensive, so budget suggestions get a little more difficult. Uh, but Uniqlo is not bad. The cuts are pretty good. I don't wash sweaters really. Sorry if that's gross, but uh, most of them you're supposed to like dry clean. And honestly, I don't go and get dry cleaned. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I just uh, air it on out. Uniqlo has good cuts. If you take care of the sweater, it should last you a little bit. Is it the best option? Probably not, but it depends what your budget is. You know, how much you want to put into it, how much you're uh, gonna wear it, all of that. So. It's up to you to kind of decide for yourself. But anyways, back to the uh, massive ad that I'm unloading on you guys. Hey guys, it's Mark here with Colorful Standards. We have this Colorful Standard sweater, which I realize it is this bright pink color, so it's not necessarily like your everyday basic. It is really nice, and they're called Colorful Standard for a reason. There's like an absolute load of colors like there's literally like 30,000 like there's probably like three different colors that look somewhat similar to this color but this is the bubblegum pink one I love it I think it's really nice like it's really just a basic crew neck sweater like there's not really like a super it fits well but there's not necessarily like a super like interesting fit on it like it's a great layering sweater I wanted to get like a fun color because again like I don't think the fit is that that crazy it fits well but it's just very standard so i wanted to have a cool color and yeah quality is great very happy with it and it's recycled merino wool is what it is that's the material so there you have it now we're gonna get into the more like luxury options if you will so the first one is beams it's kind of a good it's kind of a good bridge between like the luxury and like the not luxury i guess it is pretty expensive still, um, but you can find deals, whether it be secondhand, whether it be um, sales sections or like whatever else. But all I have is a sweater vest. I do think that they've been killing it with the cardigan game recently. So honestly, I don't even know why I'm showing you this vest. I'll probably just flash you guys some cardigans instead. They are killing it with the cardigans. They're killing it with just the knitwear in general. Definitely would not overlook them. Next up is Our Legacy. I've literally talked about Our Legacy the past like five videos, it seems like. Um, so, Our Legacy, if you're watching, I've been waiting. But um, I copped a, uh, I copped a mohair, the Our Legacy mohair sweat, sweater, cardigan, whatever. I, I caved in and I bought it. I found my size on Selfridges website I did get a 46 which is like a small fits very very oversized so if anything size down certainly don't size up but I love this thing I feel like an absolute uh, wildebeest when I wear it and yeah I I love it I've only worn it once I posted a fit pic in it so if you don't follow me on Instagram you can go do that now at mark underscore boudelier it's a it's a pretty nice sweater the material is insane it ran me like around like 400 bucks which was way more than i've ever spent on a sweater but people were reselling them people were buying them out in that size and reselling them so i just could not do that i was not about to pay a resale price for an hour legacy sweater and again i had to really think to myself you know basics how much will i wear this how long will it last in my closet? Next up we have Marnie though. 
And if you really want to make a poor financial decision, spend eight, nine hundred dollars on a cardigan. They are beautiful though. I I might have to make that poor decision next. I might have to be the next one up for that. But they are super nice. Speaking of mohair, their mohair is oh so sexy. Very vibrant colors, very fluffy. Just makes me feel special inside. Um, definitely would check them out. You've probably already seen them. They're they're kind of thrown in your face. Definitely kind of uh, the niche explore page special. Anyways, let's go on to trousers. So I originally had this category as black trousers. I feel like you always need black pants. It's just like a, a statement, or not a statement, I'm sorry. Just like a very simple everyday pant. But I kind of just changed it to trousers because I realized that I don't have that many pairs of black pants. I'm over here suggesting uh, basics and I don't even have my uh, personal basics really nailed down yet. So this is a video for both of us. This is a uh, this is a conversation between the two of us, if you will. So if you have suggestions, drop them in the comments right now. And I'll look into them. First up, we have like the budget trouser, which I think the Wrangler dress jean is a great option for that. It does have kind of a more polyester -y feel, which might not work for every outfit depending, but I do think it's a good entry into like the kind of dressier pants game, if you will. Like it definitely bridges the gap between a casual trouser and something a little bit more sophisticated. So good little option. I do also have a pair of Levi's action slacks, which would be a vintage option for you. I tried not to include vintage in this video because I feel like that's kind of a given that you can find basics on the vintage level. Levi's action slacks, pretty much the same thing as the Wranglers, just a vintage option of it. And yeah, plenty of colors. Plenty of options, still polyester -y feel, but whatever. Anyways, um, next up is Cost or Coast, however you want to pronounce it. They're like a, I guess, higher end version of H&M, kind of. I'm not saying that they're high end, but they are obviously more expensive than H&M. Not really a fast, fast fashion option, but is still kind of, kind of fast. I, I really don't know, honestly. I've, I've bought some t-shirts from them before. Some of their stuff is definitely higher quality, but I'm not gonna say it's like, uh, it's not like designer quality. But they have really incredible cuts. I think that's the, kind of the big thing that I'm getting at. It's a good option if you don't wanna spend like several hundred dollars, but you do wanna kind of like invest in something that'll last a little while. Let's get into a couple higher end options though. First up, I have Studio Nicholson, which I do have a pair of like the khaki bill pants from them, which really are kind of a sophisticated chino. It's like a 2021 chino, um, much wider leg. Uh, I haven't worn these yet though. I think it's the khaki color. I really would have rather had a black color, but I got these secondhand for an absolute stilio. And yeah, I don't know. I actually had a black pair. They just weren't the same size as this one and they didn't work, so I had to get rid of them. But they're nice. If you come across a pair, whether it be secondhand or whether you just really want to invest, I definitely would suggest doing so because the quality is there and the cuts are pretty, pretty nice. So yeah. Uh, last up is La Mer. La Mer is an incredible brand as well. Amazing like tailoring and stuff. Um, they got some great trousers, I must say. I've never owned anything from them. I don't even know if I've ever felt any of their stuff in hand. So maybe I'm just spewing bullshit at you but um they look pretty nice they look pretty fantastic and you should uh take a look see for yourself perhaps but yeah anyways let's get on to denim and then we will be done here first up on the denim category on the low end is levi's big shocker right while they do make jeans at all budgets whether you want to spend 20 bucks on a pair whether you want to spend three grand on a pair you can find them at all budget if you want something on the cheaper ends go to a goodwill find a pair of levi's you might find a vintage pair if you're lucky or maybe you just find like just any pair but yeah you know 505 or 501 or 517 those are the ones that i typically go for next up on another kind of budget category we have really it's just a list lee wrangler and rustler um all three brands very accessible at the thrift store uh, if you don't want Levi's, then consider these three other uh, fantastic options for you. 
Let's get into some of the other ones though. So we got a couple raw denim brands. We have Full Count & Co, which again, amazing uh, quality on their jeans, super heavyweight. They make pretty good um, silhouettes as well. Like they actually make like a, like a higher rise straight leg, which is really nice and kind of difficult to find these days in terms of raw denim. Uh, I had a pair, they weren't my size. Super disappointing because I got them for a Stelio, but if you ever run into them, definitely would try them out because they nice. So yeah, the other one is 316. I talked about them before. Um, shout out Andrew over at 316. The brand is fire. It's It's got good stuff. Their denim is amazing. I felt it in person and like, I think only once. I've never actually tried on a pair, but the weight of them is like so, so heavy. Like one of the heaviest pairs of raw denim I've ever felt. And I love that personally. I think it just feels super quality, which is like the number one thing for me when I'm looking at raw denim. So definitely would check that out. But yeah, my last suggestion is Junia. Um, I kind of wanted to have like a high end suggestion that wasn't just raw denim. And I think Junia like nails it with cuts. Uh, it's really cool that Kanye went on to like make a denim brand, which is like, you know, really sick. But uh, just kidding. It's a, it's a Donda joke. You should check out Junia. I actually own some of the North Face Junior Watanabe uh, jeans back in the day. Don't know why I got rid of them, but they were nice. They were cool. I liked them. They got the job done. So, yeah. Um, but that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it opened up a world of basics to you. Hope you're excited to go out and buy plain ass white t-shirts now. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, what other suggestions you guys may or may not want. Again, if you have any suggestions of your own with basics, go ahead and do that too. Whatever. But I appreciate you guys taking the time today. Hope you enjoyed my rambling. Much love and goodbye.